Hey yo, and welcome in today. You're joined by me, Daniel, as I revisit an old painting or drawing, a 90 minute art challenge from a little while ago. Um, as you say, I think it was like a year or something ago. And it's just this kitten in the um, bush area. And, you know, I think this was, I was focused in the previous, when I previously did it. Um, so this is my second attempt um, doing a 90 minute art challenge for it. Um, I think I was more focused on kind of the positioning um, and the, the background kind of a feel. Um, we're here, I'm really focused on this cat, how this cat looks, um, because yeah, that's the main focus of this piece, you know, this little kitten. Um, I'm just trying to get accurate at drawing that. I felt uh, it worked well. Um, I definitely, compared to the last time I painted it, I feel like, you know, I've improved um, at my attempt at it, at my 90 minute art challenge. Um, I have been looking and been doing a few redoing some 90 minute art challenges. Um, I have in the past, usually um, in the past, I've had some 90 minute art challenge where I wasn't quite happy with the results. So I was like, oh, I'll do it next, I'll do it again, in, like the next few weeks, um, that 90 minute art challenge. Um, and it's it's been really helpful it's good to revisit paintings redrawing um it's better it's easier to get better at drawing um when you are you know drawing the same thing over and over again um yeah it's easier to see it's easier to to see your results of improving in drawing and accuracy that kind of thing where is if you draw say a tree one day and a cat the next day it's hard to compare a tree to a cat how accurate you are getting uh, where if you are drawing the same thing over and over again you can compare your results and you can say okay well this is where i'm going wrong um so it can be very helpful to to focus in on one aspect of something um sometimes you know you may be you you already mastered one skill, so your drawing set or your lighting or something. So then you can focus in on something else, uh, like posing, um, or accuracy. You know. Um. So yeah, it, it's fun repainting, revisiting. I think. Um. I. Yeah. I did have a better result this time around. Again, I had had a attempt a ninety minute art attempt before this so you know I, I have something um in the past that i've drawn it before um so i feel also um that i also have like um kind of less afraid i guess you know because i already know that you know i can get something within this 90 minutes you know i think back then i was worried that you know don't I won't get anything that great within 90 minutes. Um, but re-attempting it, I already know I can get something okay or decent, you know, or, yeah, okay within 90 minutes, you know, before we had a good result in a way. Um, so now it's improving on it. So, you know, I already have that kind of sense of security that I can get something done within 90 minutes. Um, but also back then, yeah, I hadn't done as much 90 minute art challenges as I have now. Um, so, you know, I, I know now within 90 minutes I can get something. I'm not too worried about the results per se. I know that I will get um, something out of it. Um, so, you know, that gives me... I slowed down a little bit now. I think back... Then I was all over the place a little bit with them. I was just trying to get the best result I can. Um, I think I would, you know, I would do like a little bit of background here and then I'll do a little bit of the cat and then I'll go into trying to um, do something else. You know, I'd be all over the place where 
if I slow down, I actually can get, um, I might get less done per se, um, you know, a little, a little bit less, um, overall, but the, the parts and the bits that I do get done, um, are way better, at a way better level, and, you know, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's better results because you get something, um, out of it rather than all over the place, you know, get, only get a little bit of time working on a little bit of background, a little bit of time working on the character or creature or whatever you're, you're painting, and then a little bit of time doing some of the shading and stuff like that, um, so you're only gaining a little of each aspect of it, where if you focus in, I'm really focusing on this cat and its pose, I really get to take that out as the pose and the, um, everything, making it look accurate as well, you know, try, trying that aspect and a level up in that versus trying to tinyly level up and <laughs> lots of different things. Um, I mean, it's your own, some people do, um, prefer that way of slowly leveling up in lots of things slowly. Um, but yeah, I do prefer to, to focus in and do focus in on one thing at a time or get good at one thing at a time. Um, so I think having that kind of mindset when coming into these like 90 minute art challenges now has been really helpful um, versus, you know, two or three years ago when I started doing these 90 minute art challenges um, or uh, constantly doing them that, yeah, it was, I was just all over the place. So I would like to revisit a little bit more of these 90 minute art challenges. Um, it just gives me uh, something to improve on my art and and just give me kind of a gym to go to I guess this is my kind of gym each week that I that I do um, revisiting old paintings and old uh, see how accurate I am doing now and type kind of going back and testing a level or something like uh, like going back and doing another hundred minute run um, and seeing, you know, how long it takes you, you know, kind of that, uh, you know, you see, you kind of go to the gym for a while and things like that, and then, you know, what's your goal? Might be to, to clock 100 meter run in, in two minutes or whatever, well, 100 meter run in, in 30 seconds or something like that, it's a bit more accurate. But, um, you know, you go to the gym one time and then, you know, you're at, you're at maybe 45 seconds, and then a year or a couple of years later, you finally get to 37 seconds or something, you know, you see the improvement, uh, so kind of the same thing for art, you know, you go to the gym, you do, do workouts, do everything like that, um, and, you know, you see the results through your art, but doing something like this, where you might redraw or repaint something you've done in the past, um, really can show you, oh yeah, you've actually, this is where you've gone, this um, is where you are today, a bit more accurately, because you can compare this cat drawing that I've done, whatever, how long ago it was, and compare it to the drawing that I've done now. Um, and it really, put them side to side, you can kind of see um, the results of, of what I've learned over the years, and what um, I've definitely uh, improve obviously there are restrictions here as same as the uh, meter run you know I'm only doing 90 minutes on these paintings um, you know and and things like that there's obviously that you know in mind but it also with that it means there is some you know requirements there so it kind of gives you an accurate <laughs> comparison compared to um, say if I did a painting a couple of years ago that took me half an hour versus a painting I might have done yesterday or something like that that took me three or four days to complete. Um, it's less accurate to compare those two, you know? <laughs> um, because, yeah, it's going to be, um, yeah, 
too many variables to, to compare and you'd be like, yeah, I've improved, but really have I since this painting I spent so much more time on than that half an hour painting, you know? Um hopefully that gives you some set aspects of, you know, repainting and redrawing things. Um yeah, I've enjoyed myself with painting this. Um keep liking keep sharing keep subscribing to this channel really do appreciate it um so keep creating and see you in the next video